This lesson is an introduction to the concept of Java Server Pages, also known as JSP. A Java Server Page is an HTML web page with Java code included inside it. If you're familiar with other web page generation languages, JSP is not like JavaScript or ECMAScript. It's actually more like PHP than either of those. The code in a Java server page is executed on the server, not on the client. It works like this. A web browser uses its normal HTTP protocol to issue a request in the form of a URL. Now this request arrives at the server. The web server recognizes this particular URL and passes it on to the JSP server. The JSP server may be a part of the web server, or it could be an entirely separate process. The JSP server translates the text of the Java server page into the source code of a Java class. Next, the Java class is compiled into a regular Java class file of bytecodes ready to be loaded by the Java virtual machine. This may sound a bit odd at first. I know it did for me, but I'll show you what this means and how it works a little later. Anyway, the next step is to load the class and create an executable object from it. The object is then executed. The output from the object is a pure HTML page that is sent to the web server and onto the client web browser. That's the basic life cycle of a JSP page request. It can be done slightly differently. For example, it may be that the translation of the JSP source has already been done, and it may have already been compiled into a class file and ready to be loaded and changed into an object. It isn't always done this way. It depends on what's needed. For example, it could be that a parameter supplied with the URL in the request includes information that has an effect on the form of the class produced from this translation.